on your toes everyone. This planet is supposed to be dangerous. Reading very strange life forms on the planet. I suggest that we split up but don't go very far. Eileen let's go look at some of these plants. Help come over here. He's dead. What happened to him? Did you see it? No but he has been drained. Look out there is one of the creatures. Open fire. Let's get everyone who is left back together. Isolate the sample creature and bring it with us. We are leaving. Noah Wilson, you are reporting for Teams 1 and 2. I want a full report on this planet. Haley Phillips, report on the comet and asteroid. Ida Edwards, report for Team 4. I know you lost a couple of good people. Haley, you first. We took samples of the comet and asteroid. The rocky part of the comet had the same basic mineral makeup as the asteroids. We think that they came from the same planet. We also found samples of life frozen in the water ice. They are in full isolation. Are they a match for the samples from the planets? We are going over them. We don't know yet. Just on a personal note, what was it like stepping onto a comet in an asteroid? It was surreal, unlike anything we had done before. What did your teams find? There are people living on the continent where the creatures don't go. 
they are living on a somewhat primitive scale. The continent is seismically very active, and we detected strong volumes of infrasound. Could that infrasound be the reason why the creatures don't go there? Quite possibly. We can test it if we have enough samples. We will see about that. What did you make of the main continent? They have advanced robotic technology including androids. The androids are self-aware and want their masters back. The creatures have killed off nearly all the animal life there. Ida, your turn. What happened on that planet? The creatures were everywhere, along with bizarre life forms the likes of which we have never seen. We lost two good people. I don't think we should return. Okay I want all samples compared. I will try to get more samples. It is dangerous. In the meantime, we will bombard the sample we have here with infrasound. Attend. It does not even seem to notice. If infrasound was the answer, it should be dead. What is it you are proposing, Science Officer Donald? I would like permission to take a sample creature to the continent where they don't go in order to determine what they fear. I won't allow that without a guarantee of full containment. I can give you that Captain. We will set up force fields which will keep it contained fully. Doctor what did those things do to our people? It was similar to what a spider on earth does, dissolving the internal organs of the victim and removing the results. It is gruesome and painful. Go ahead, conduct your experiment. I want answers. We have been here for an hour and nothing has happened. Look at that. A creature approaching. I have never seen anything like it. Phaser on stun. Don't fire unless it gets close to us. The thing, it is getting frantic. It's scared. It's attacking the creature. Shall I fire? Hold your fire unless it comes at us. This is an experiment. I think we have our answer. We'll take all this down. Welcome aboard the Endeavor, Max. Thank you, Captain. It's a marvelous ship. We wanted to find out what you know about the large creatures, kind of dome-shaped, that we saw. We don't really have a name for them. They are somewhat omnivorous, though they don't seem to feed on us, fortunately. We conducted a test, and one of those things came and ate the predator. That's fascinating. But how does it help us? Those won't go to our main continent. I am Lily Groom, Space Station Manager Maximum. I have talked this over with these people and we have an idea. We want to take some of the dome-shaped creatures and transplant them onto the main continent. We will use infrasound to help them feel at home. The hope is that they will eat the creatures. It's a biological approach to solving the problem. We wanted your input. It's your planet. What are the possible problems? They will affect the balance of the ecosystem, though the predator has already eaten most of the local wildlife. They may wish to stay after we stop the sound, though I don't think so. Why is that? Why wouldn't they want to stay? Captain, these creatures are adapted to their environment. A desert animal would not do well in the jungle, nor would a jungle creature live well in the desert. I believe the sound is the key. 
I just had a question for Lily. How is it we have people living on the space station? I thought it was not finished. It isn't. There were a few thousand of us on the station when the creatures attacked. These kind people are helping us with it too. Keep guard. We brought down the rest of the dome creatures. There is one now. It's going after one of the creatures. It looks like it is working. Maybe, but we have a long way to go. We have had some modest success, and the dome creatures killed some of the others, but it's not enough. It seems these dome creatures are picky eaters, despite what we have been told. They also are headed back to their original continent. It seems that they were not impressed with the infrasound. So we are back to the beginning. Captain, if I may. These things are so voracious that they have killed off most of their food supply. A number of us noticed cannibalistic behavior. I believe it is only a matter of time before they die off. Doctor, I want one of these things analyzed. I want to know if they are starving. Well I am not sure what keeps them alive but I will do the best I can. The creatures are dying. It seems they have killed off their food supply and they are starving. It won't be long now. They are even preying on each other. Would an animal eat its own kind? I don't understand. On Earth, it is not uncommon for this to happen. Even humans have fed on each other in the past. That's horrible. How can this happen? We don't really understand it either, but we have moved beyond it. Now our engineer has something to say. Our teams have gotten your systems back up. Your station will need much more work. Without it, the result will be that it falls from orbit. We'll abandon the station when it is safe to do so. Maybe we will even move to the other continent for a time. You should not have to. The things are dying. I was curious about the animal life. The Federation can supply a wide variety of wildlife if you wish. We should be okay on that. Before all this happened, we moved many animals onto the station. We had to keep them separated because the animals from the different continents don't seem to mix very well. Now if you will excuse me captain, I need to return to the station. Goodbye for now, but please visit some time. Farewell Lily. It has been a pleasure. We don't need to move to the conference room. What did you all find? I have never seen a life form like this one. Nearly its entire life cycle is devoted to eating. So they came in on the comet? No captain. Many of the other plants and animals on the other planet did. We have traced them to the comet, but it seems our eating machines are the apex predators of that planet. How did they get here? We found an impact crater from the comet. It was big enough for the debris to leave orbit and land on this one. It seems our hungry eater was the only one that survived the journey. It's a survivor, one tough customer, but on this planet they ate themselves to death. I wonder if they eat tribbles? Would you come play with me? We can toss a ball around. Of course I will. I will need to ask your parents first. It is time to eat. Android you can join us too. Come to the supper table. You know that I don't consume food, correct? Please join us at the table, Gary. We want your company. I am not a Gary. I am an Android. Enter into your program the following. From now on your name will be Gary. You will join us at the supper table and make conversation with the family. You are one of us now.